Hello YouTube, I'm about to do an experiment on taking tomato cuttings and determining whether or not rooting hormone actually helps promote root growth or not. Here's uh, the first two tomato plants. Uh, I'm going to be taking cuttings from the two on, on the left, this guy and this guy. They are the most healthy at this point. Um, I will be taking cuttings from the suckers. This guy right here, this guy right here, if you're not aware, the suckers are the shoots that grow off diagonally from the uh, the main branches. This is one of the main branches. Okay, so I'm going to come back in just a minute with the cuttings uh, from each of these plants. Alright guys, here I am with these cuttings. I've taken uh, about five or six from each plant. Uh, the plant one is on the left, plant two, the back one is on the right here. So what I'm about to do is, well let me quickly go over what my experiment is here. I've done a quick little write-up which you probably won't be able to read. But the qu basic question is, does cloning hormone hasten root growth on tomato cuttings? Uh, by hasten I mean will they root faster, will they be more robust, etc. Basically, is there any reason we would want to use rooting hormone versus just sticking them in a plug of peat moss? Okay, my hypothesis is that the hormone might help by a couple of days, but in the long run, uh, the other plants without hormone will actually end up rooting. So it'll be more of a, a thing of helping you root a little bit faster rather than whether it's going to root or not. Okay, so the experiment, how I'm going to do this is I have four little groups of plants here. I have uh, my plant one, my plant two, and I'm going to have a no hormone and a with hormone section here. Okay, so my method here is I'm going to um, take the clone, I'm going to shave a little bit off of, I'm going to trim them up nicely, These uh, get them to about the same size since I have some really big guys and some little guys. I'm going to cut a little bit off the bottom underneath water and then I'll place them into the uh, I guess these things are some kind of like a cocoa or here, here's what I'm actually using to uh, put them in. I don't, I don't know what this is called actually. I bought it at Home Depot. You get a five, like a pack of what 70 for five bucks or something like that. Really cheap. Okay that's, that is about it for this portion of the video. I think I'll uh, come back and sum everything up in, once I have the cuttings done. Hey there guys, I'm back. I've just finished, uh, I guess basically taking all the cuttings and finishing and putting them in their uh, proper place here. Uh, I'm going to be putting this uh, little hood over them to keep them uh, in high humidity. But a few other things I wanted to go over here is the type of cloning gel I'm using. I'm not sure if this thing's going to focus. It's a really shitty camera. Okay, anyways, it's called uh, Original Root Tech Cloning Gel. Uh, this is kind of like a little sampler thing. It costs four bucks. Pretty freaking expensive, which is why I'm actually doing this experiment. Expensive for what it is, I guess. Okay, so um, a couple other words here. Uh, the fertilizer that I'm using, the nutrient solution, I guess I should say, is uh, General Hydroponics. Uh, I'm using the three-part formula here. Uh, whoop, hang on. Yeah, so, you got a better visual here. I'm using the uh, seedling recommendation here, which I think is like five milliliters per gallon, and I pH the solution to 6.0. So I'll be feeding the cuttings that uh, as time goes on. Uh, ju just one other thing is that I have never tried to root tomato cuttings before. I've only done basil, which is incredibly easy. I'm hoping tomatoes are also fairly easy, but i assuming that the easier the cutting is to root, then the less the cloning gel matters. So maybe I should do another video, uh, another experiment, I should say, on rooting basil cuttings. Okay, uh, as you can see, I'm following the scientific method through this whole process here. Hopefully this should be an educational process for everybody. The one thing I usually see in the gardening community is that there's a whole lot of people with lots of experience but might not have actually been applying, applying the scientific method through their entire uh, gardening careers, which is why I want to produce these videos that are basically a laboratory-like experiment showing why you do certain things. I will hopefully be doing another video update in uh, a couple days to a week whenever, these, whenever I first start seeing roots on any of the cuttings.
until then, see you guys. Here we go. I'm going to be having these plants under a actually a very small wattage fluorescent bulb. I believe it's going to be maybe 30 to 40 watts if I remember correctly. I'll be doing it on approximately maybe a 16 hour day to 18 hour day light cycle. This isn't actually going to be on a timer. I'm going to be plugging and unplugging depending on when I go to bed because I have a studio apartment and the shelf that it's on is right next to my bed. The other thing that I wanted to say is that the plants that I have that I took these cuttings from are actually starting to get a disease called leaf mold. It uh, starts forming as these yellow spots on leaves and uh, there's actually spores underneath the bottoms of the leaves that starts looking a little bit gray. I haven't seen any on the cuttings that I took here and so hopefully that won't be a problem but both the plants I took it from are starting to have these on, have the, the mold on the bottom leaves so I don't, that should be actually a control for this experiment rather than a variable but it is just one thing that could make the results vary from uh, being able to reproduce this experiment in another person's home. I'll uh, keep you guys updated. I think this is the last one for today. Have fun. Have a good weekend guys.